Hi, this is Scott Smith, and welcome to my summer into autumn update. Going a little bit slower. I've tried to do this video a few times, and um, I'm stumbling over my words. So I think I have a lot to share with you today, and I'm trying to condense that into something edible and fun, and uh, something that you can take in about what I'm doing. Um, I'm in Los Angeles, California. Um, and I operate a lot online, I think we all do right now. Um, I am a writer, um, I am a healer. Uh, in certain senses, I am a um, consultant because I do readings and I guide people on uh, life directions and changes and things that they would like to see in their lives uh, or understand. And uh, I occasionally make smart. So all of those things are part of my process. <clears throat> um, in the last, Geez, I'd say six or seven years, I've been really uh, teaching a lot as I've grown in the Temple of Witchcraft, which is a magical spiritual nonprofit here in um, the United States and other places in the world. I've uh, brought in a lot of the personal realizations, gnosis, discovery, um, and all the beautiful things, magic and skills, methods, tools, and artistry that I've learned from uh, those wonderful folks. Uh, that I call a second home. Uh, combine that with uh, Reiki training um, and uh, other skills in my life to, you know, create the artistry of what I do in word, image, or services. So um, that's a little about who I am and what I do. I operate primarily through two interfaces. One is the Temple Los Angeles. That is a private business, which I founded in 2015 uh, in October. So our birthday is coming up. Uh, for uh, Originally the impetus was uh, having an umbrella to do what I do legally here in Los Angeles, but it's evolved into really being rooted in the land and the consciousness of the people here and uh, bringing healing and education and opportunities through the disciplines that I know for advancement for other people. So that usually takes the place of classes, consulting, and healing, as I mentioned before. Um, I also operate a Patreon, and I have for about three and a half years, almost, I think I might be on my fourth year, I'm not 100% certain on that, um, but for some time. Uh, it originally started uh, thanks to the spurring of a friend to get me to uh, write more and work less on people and um, you know during the crisis of the pandemic and as things evolved it turned into a portal for offerings of uh, inspirations writing um, in addition to the writing that I was doing um, I'm almost done with the Reiki manual that everybody's been very patiently waiting for and um, because uh, I'm rewriting the whole thing uh, from the from the base up and including a lot of what I know now in Reiki terminology and in healer uh, language, the language of the healer, I'm including it there. So all of those things are updated in that and so um, people get snapshots of that. Um, <clears throat> But the, the Patreon itself evolved as a portal or place for me to continue to do outreach to people. Uh, so that shows up, like I said, in um, uh, weekly, lately monthly offerings as I've been really focused on the writing of the manual, um, classes or meditations that are available for subscribers and opportunities in uh, like the Zoom portal or um, through private Facebook group that we have. Um, uh, or Google Classrooms, depending on what we're using, uh, for people to participate uh, and take in something healthy, uh, sanitizing, um, uh, and uh, good, you know, at this time. Uh, I It's been really important to me to have a focus while all these things are happening, and I believe that focus has been beneficial to other people. Um, lately on the Patreon, we've been doing some very interesting things there, um, or I should say, I've been highlighting some very interesting things that I've been doing, uh, such as uh, we just finished a piece on candle working, and I highlighted one of the local churches and, um, and the exchange of light and some of the experiences that I was having there. 
Now, some of you may know me in being, and you might be saying, well, you're a witch. What are you doing in a church? And uh, as it came up in one of our classes, I would like to say that where there is fire and light, uh, that is where a witch is welcome. Uh, and even where there's not, a witch may bring it. Um, and so, uh, you know, I think my spirituality, at least the way that I embrace it and move with it, allows for me to move into all spiritual spaces where uh, it is welcome, right? And maybe a few where it's not, and I went anyways, and because uh, I wanted to bring something good, uh, like the Catholic Church, uh, and uh, weave light into those places. And so the stories and the lessons and the examples, such as videos uh, on uh, private Vimeo channels or um, and meditations, all of those sort of coalesce around those experiences. I have one coming up in um, autumn, um, which will be some more uh, Reiki meditations, but also more weaving light with the land where I'm at. I find that working with um, my motivation in the Temple Los Angeles, which is really being present and grounded in Los Angeles, not just as a business, but as a, a spiritual identity, that's important for me to connect with the ancestral energy of where I'm at. Uh, and, you know, when we talk about ancestors, that's not just our family, that's all beings who have lived here before that have become part of the tapestry of experience, the earth, the weather, the elements, the very dirt itself where we are at. Um, to, to root what I do, uh, my motivations and my direction in that understanding. And so some of the rituals and things, experiences and writing are going to be reflective of that as I go through to local spaces um, that I know or have deemed to be uh, spiritually significant or uh, magically potent or uh, uh, curiously enchanting uh, and um, to do the work uh, which is to do the magic, to say the hello and the welcome, and, and to uh, embrace whatever that involves as I weave um, my work into the land itself. So like I said, that before you know, looked like sharing light with the church. And I hope to do that with other places where I bring light from my altar and from my personal practice and I share it with a spiritual place and we exchange light and we build light together. So I might bring that flame back and add it to my altar flame. And so increase the spirit of this uh, space that I work from and treat people in and, and uh, teach classes from and in turn also offer light from my sacred spaces to those to weave light into the place but also moving into um, for example the local falls um, or springs and doing prayer and meditation and energy work there maybe healing asking for forgiveness um, saying hello and just welcome you know the sometimes the work isn't always uh, needing something or uh, asking for something or needing to do something other than acknowledge the presence and the awareness of those who are here before us or the very special sacred nature of a spring or grove of trees or any of those sorts of things. Uh, so as I do those, uh, those come into the writing and those come into, I think, uh, not, not just building my practice, but also into the information that I um, apply in classes. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And that's uh, primarily through uh, um, the Patreon portal uh, and also through Temple Los Angeles, you know, where I'll be offering um, classes and things, mystery school classes from the Temple of Witchcraft. We have the Wheel of the Year, Mysteries of the Wheel of the Year, which is coming up in October. And that one is a look at the eight festivals, if you will, or rituals and ceremonial uh, moments um, on the quarters and cross quarters, the solstices, equinoxes, and those gates of fire in between this, those uh, seasonal moments. And um, it's a great class. I took it myself. Uh, I participated internally in the Temple of Witchcraft in some of those um, sort of advanced explorations. And um, and I've taught this class uh, previously at a Love Bazaar, um, uh, and I'm teaching it again, right? So uh, I'm offering that class again. We will start online uh, because 
things are as they are in the world and then we will move as it is safe uh, into outdoor experiences and sort of bounce back and forth between the online and the in-person uh, as we explore those things but this time we're gonna we're gonna really take uh, it as a uh, a visionary experience as a whole and weave together all of the classes a path through those eight holidays that's more than just taking in the uh, information about the eight um, this, you know, the summer solstice, winter solstice, the spring equinox, the autumn equinox, and these little four gates that are between them. We're going to look at those as sort of a, a circular path of spiritual awareness and build our rituals and information around that. So it's going to be a little experiential um, versus uh, academic. Although the meat of the of the um, of the material written by Christopher Pensack in the class, you know, it's like that much stuff. So it's a lot of information to take in. And so if you're really craving uh, the when and the why as we move through the rhythm, uh, you'll really be able to soak that up and take in the information about the star alignments or the way that power moves between the earth and the heavens and the heavens and the earth and the changing of the light and dark tides and, and why we choose certain God forms or goddess forms and and choose your own and uh, build an altar for each and uh, and that sort of thing. So it'll be a fun class. And then next year, this is I'm really future talking here because this is not even until March of next year. Although on the temple uh, la.com website, there are sign up sheets for witchcraft one, two and three. I will be starting to teach uh, the official mystery school classes in there because um, I have the blessing to be able to do that and um, I'm really grateful for it. So uh, if you've already done uh, any sort of um, work in the Temple of Los Angeles, you're local to the area. Um, that's Los Angeles or Southern California and you can come out to me. Um, we'll be teaching those classes. Uh, witchcraft 1, Witchcraft 2, Witchcraft 3. That's the inner temple, the outer temple, and the shamanic temple. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Um, and I'm most, most, most also also most excited about um, Reiki. Um, I've been uh, a Reiki master since 2002. I was initiated here in Hollywood, California in a little park off of Bonita Terrace where my my good friend Marie uh, Kiawi lived and um, her mom and uh, Astrid and um, and I've recently had a Reiki master student who uh, trained with me and then went on to discover other uh, Reiki master disciplines right and embrace other um, energy uh, empowerments in it and she's empowered me with some of those which are the um, the Reiki Holy Fire and soon to be Karuna Reiki. So I'm going to start to weave some of those in, uh, maybe with some other Reiki practitioners uh, into shares and classes, which brings me to back to the mo one of the most important things, right, is the, is the writing. Uh, so we have this um, uh, manuals that are coming out that are Reiki focused from the Patreon support. And I really appreciate everybody doing that because even the little $5 amount uh, is something I don't have to pay for. I don't have to, to work in um, uh, for in the same way that I can really focus on the writing. So I really appreciate everybody who supported me there. Um, that's going to be uh, done soon. Uh, I'm I'm at the part where I'm sort of re-describing the working on the body and in, and other little details that you would need for um, hosting your own Reiki practice, and we're going to use that manual in our uh, return to Reiki teaching um, for the Isui styled Reiki level one. Um, there will be a Reiki two manual, and of course there will be a Reiki master manual, and in addition there'll be the Holy Fire and Karuna Reiki experiences. Um, maybe not just what you're seeing online, like the Holy Love experience or any of those sorts of things, because I like to blend and play. So there might be things which are circular, uh, magical canisters and containers from the Temple of Witchcraft that get mixed with uh, the Holy Fire that get added to some sort of um, technique uh, and 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 I like those play spaces and I like to play with those play you know that those spaces I'm a Sagittarius rising you know I'm always sort of peeking over the next uh, and sort of pushing myself 
uh, into something new. So that's there as well. So I invite you to join me. Um, you can go to temple-la.com and that's where most of the classes will appear. Um, some of them will only appear on the Patreon. Uh, that's patreon.com slash Scott K. Smith. Scott K. Smith, the S, the K, and the S, and the Scott K. Smith are all capitalized. Um, I'll include that in the notes as a link there. Um, that if you're if you're participating there or you're participating in one of the classes, you're welcome to join me in the private Facebook group. Generally, that's weekly posts or sharing of significant astrologies from friends that I know in the in in that discipline. Um, I tend not to go to the big astrologers that everybody's following. I try to find uh, people that we know. Uh, in fact, we have a list there on the Facebook group if you have the skill set that you're offering to other people to add yourself to that list so that we have a little reference of who we can turn to in our community and for what. Um, and, and, and bonus, you know, if you're on the Patreon or you're in a class with me or even if you're just a member of the Temple of Witchcraft, you get discounts for what I do. So I offer uh, Reiki healing services and energy healing services, and I also offer consulting services, which can look anywhere from doing a reading for you, that's psychic, intuitive, and the use of oracles, to looking at uh, writing or business plans or directions. Um, I think I'm pretty good with those, uh, so I've been told. And um, they have a, a set price on those. And then if you're participating on any of those levels in any of those ways, I give you a nice deep discount. Um, and depending on what you're participating with on the Patreon, you may even get a very significant discount on those services once a month, you know, for uh, for being, uh, as a $50 subscriber, you can get a reading or uh, a healing or gift it to a friend. Um, so if that's in your, um, if that's in your budget uh, and you appreciate uh, being um, generous to people uh, and you like what I do, that's a great way to do that, either as a self-care routine for yourself, having a monthly healing or check-in, um, or as a gift for someone else. So yeah, that's a lot. This is Scott Smith. I'm a writer, I'm an artist, I'm a healer, I'm a witch. Uh, I'm here in Los Angeles and online. I operate through uh, my business portal, which is the Temple Los Angeles. It's a private, magical uh, consulting and teaching business. And through the Patreon portal, patreon.com slash Scott K. Smith, the S, the K, the S are capitalized. Um, and there's everything that we have. There's everything that we have. Um, I'm really excited for the Wheel of the Year class. We already have people. Uh, who are signing up for it. And we already have folks for our Mystery of the Wheel of the Year class, uh, excuse me, in our um, uh, Mystery School classes for next year who are on the interest list. And so um, we're going to get that rolling too. I expect that um, in September we're going to have some uh, nice Reiki healing experiences, uh, some suggestions to do with water, um, we have a void meditation coming this month. What is that? You'd have to log into the Patreon and find out. Uh, that's, uh, we'll be um, moving into a place. It's a stillness practice from a magical perspective. Uh, all of those things are going to be available for you uh, in those places. Um, and who knows what's else? Who knows what's else? I don't know. Sometimes I, I get a, a little spur to do something interesting. Uh, and offer it to um, subscribers, students, and friends in those spaces. And uh, I think that they're always enjoyable. So, yes. If you are a friend who is already subscribing, thank you so much. If you are someone who is soon described, thank you so much. Uh, if you're a student in the Facebook group, I thank you. Thank you, everybody, for supporting me. Um, I will drop some links into the bottom here. Stay safe, mask up, do what you need to, to be as healthy as possible, be kind to one another. Uh, there's enough uh, malice in the world. Uh, we need more love. Uh, we need more people choosing the path of uh, awakening through magic or whatever disciplines that we're doing. And I offer you these uh, classes, writing, meditations uh, as my way. So yeah, I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.